Well, here's a story you have definitely seen before. A major college campus erupted into violence when someone tried to say things that were not approved by the people in charge, the Biden administration and Apple. That happened last night at the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque. Charlie Kirk visited the campus and riot police had to be deployed. Watch. Cops. Cops? Uh, f them. You know what I say? American? Uh, Americans. Especially the cops. Oh, but the threat is the Proud Boys and QAnon. Charlie Kirk is the founder and president of Turning Point USA. He joins us tonight. Charlie, thanks so much for coming on. This was clearly organized. A lot of the signs were pre-printed. Who were these people? Do you know? It's a good question. I wonder if they're paid and why they were spending their evenings to protest me and our Turning Point USA chapter just to talk about the U.S. Constitution and freedom yeah. of speech. It's really interesting when you try to show up on a college campus and do an optional voluntary event how angry the other side gets. But this is a very important moment for people to recognize and understand that the other side, the left, the radical left, they're acting like the very same domestic violent extremists that the entire federal government is now organized to go after. Right. And we're told that's on the American right. Really, go look at that footage. Is that the Proud Boys? Is that the American right? Are those conservatives? No, those no. people are on the left. And I wonder who's financing them and who's behind it. This is the third time this semester that we've done an event on this campus. The other two had to be canceled or ended abruptly because of these people that intervened. So I went there on a personal mission because the way the only way we lose right now is if we don't show up. So I went there last evening is to send a message to every one of these people, to send a message to anyone that's watching, that we're going to stand for free speech. And you are not going to be able to disrupt our events or bully our students with force. And thankfully, the event went very well, despite their best protest and their violence. Three people were arrested last evening. But I noticed their signs are so familiar. You're a racist. You're a white supremacist. I happen to know that you argue, when you even address race, for a colorblind society, which is, of course, the opposite yes. and the antidote to racism. Why is it always that slur? I mean, there are probably things you believe that they don't, they could attack you on those, but no, they called you a white supremacist and they always do, why? Well, first of all, because most people cower in fear when they're called a racist. Uh, they're almost, they go into a place of paralysis. We are in the era of weaponized name calling where people ask for uh, forgiveness immediately and they apologize for no reason just because they're called this. But there's another reason. It's because the modern left, the postmodern left, they don't believe in speech. They don't believe you're an individual made in the image of God. They believe you are a member of a collective identity group. And they believe that they can then shut us up just by calling us white supremacists and racists. I invited every single one of them to come into our event and they could have the microphone and make their case. But they do not believe that speech is a value. All they care about is force and power. This is the country they're trying to lead us towards. What, what happened in Albuquerque yesterday is not an aberration. It is a, it is a coming attraction. It is something that is soon going to happen all across the country if we don't get this right. We win when we show up. And one last thing I'll say is despite everything the media has said over the last couple weeks about Gen Z, the good news is that over the last five years, young people have become 13 points less liberal, according to the Morning Consult. I don't think that the behavior yesterday is popular, nor do I think it's emblematic of an entire generation. Well, it's just a complete dead end. I mean, it's just, a, it's just, it's just darkness. Um, so I, I, hope, I hope you're right uh, in those numbers. Charlie Kirk, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.